hello, cathode cat here. Uh, in this vlog, I'm just going to talk about um, stuff that happened to me. And I'm a Canadian, I live in Toronto, just so you know. I'm going to inform the people on a statistic. And I'm part of that statistic. So I'm just trying to get my voice out there as an individual who is part of a statistic. I'm going to talk about mostly health and relationships and what's happened in my life just so people hear me out and so they don't get caught in the same traps as I did and just kind of like hear my side of the story to see how there, there's so many ways you can get caught in so many different traps and all at the same time I'm gonna be doing some kind of art maybe I'll be coloring in some coloring books or I'll be painting when it gets a little bit less snowy here because winter seems to stretch out longer and longer each year even though the winters aren't as cold or severe so I'm gonna be doing that and when it gets even a little bit more warmer I will finish building my greenhouse but mostly it's a greenhouse just to prevent squirrels from climbing in I heard on the radio that there was a breakout recently in Ryerson University uh, that there were bed bugs well, I have Lyme's disease. I contracted Lyme's disease recently, I think, although I may have had it earlier on in my childhood. But anyway, in any case, the more times you get bitten or scratched or whatever and contract it, the worse it gets because every time you get new bacteria. I'll tell you some something about my job experiences here as a Canadian. I'll tell you about my student loans, my student experiences. And uh, I'll also do some cooking and show you what I'm cooking uh, for my Lyme disease diet. I'm not like very strict on my diet right now, but I'm undergoing a change in lifestyle. So I'm trying to make my diet healthier for me so that I don't feed the bugs as much. And so yeah, that's what my vlog is going to be about. So I'll talk about all those things in, in different... Uh, episodes. So the thing I'm currently doing to help me with my Lyme disease is I am taking cat's claw. You're supposed to take it synergistically with something called Otoba bark, but I can't find it here anywhere. And honestly, I have a hard time trusting any kind of capsule pill. The only kind of Otoba bark I can find is in like liquid format on websites. The cat's claw I'm taking is also in capsule format, so I mean, I'm a little paranoid that it might not even contain cat's claw, but cat's claw and, and Atoba bark, how they work is Lyme disease covers itself in a slime layer called biofilm, which makes it very hard for your body to detect it, so it's hard for the immune system to get there. and. It ten tends to hide in joints and membranes or whatever. It tends to hide in your brain, hard to reach places. So what Cat's Claw does is it's supposed to bust the biofilm. It's supposed to open it. And then the Toba bark is a bactericide, so it goes in the opened biofilm layer and kills the bacteria. So because I couldn't find a Toba bark, uh, I was taking, already before the cat's claw, I was taking a whole bunch of garlic. I would take 16 cloves of garlic a day. So that's 8 and then 8. So I would split them off into two different times. So, I'm taking, I was taking cat's claw and garlic for about a week. Or I was taking the cat's claw and then, like, I would take two or three tablets or pills, capsules, and then wait like a few hours, and then have like eight cloves of garlic, and then wait a few hours, and then take capsules again, and then wait a few hours, and take the eight cloves of garlic. And I would chop the garlic very fine. I also learned that stevia is a good way to bust the biofilm. Uh, but it's supposed to be real stevia. You can't just get the sugar packets of white dust. So I'm using 
some kind of or I don't know not organic well yeah organic stevia packets that are full of like this green powder I got it from healthy planet another thing I'm doing right now is I've changed my habits especially eating habits um, I used to really like eating really unhealthy food uh, McDonald's and sugar and uh, crackers the only carbs right now that I'm eating is instead of sugar I eat fruit instead of candy I eat fruit instead of sugar I put stevia in my tea and hot chocolate and instead of chips and crackers I eat plantain chips which are also carbs but at least they're gluten free because if you eat gluten you could get a gluten sensitivity if you have Lyme disease if you eat red meat you could become allergic to red meat so I had to cut that out of my diet too although not completely like occasionally I'll have meat it's very hard to say no to meat but I've been eating a lot of mushrooms to get my protein and lentils with squash is a good mixture because if, if you eat beans with squash then you get all your amino acids and um, I've been drinking Immunical every day which is supposed to boost your immune system because it gives you cysteine and that creates glutathione which helps to detox your system and help your immune system because very often these bugs will invade your immune system and, and kill your white blood cells so also I am using a zapper, an electrical zapper uh, the cheapest one on the market I think right now is called the Spooky 2 so they make it in China so I don't know I'm very skeptical with all the medicines I'm using right now but better to do something than to not do anything so I'm, I'm doing something and it seems to be kind of helping or I don't know maybe it's just placebo effect but we'll see I'll just keep on doing it another thing is also uh, after my concussion I was receiving some kind of laser therapy I asked the uh, therapist to set the cold laser to uh, Lyme disease rather than concussion so I don't know if that's gonna help either but you know there the theory goes that uh, cold laser also helps with Lyme disease especially when it's lodged in your brain so yeah like I said cat's claw and garlic spooky too which uses rife frequencies to kill certain pathogens and change in diet as well as trying to get you know regular sleep and immunical supplement I'm also taking omega-3 fatty fish oils and vitamins I'm trying to eat more and include more leafy green vegetables in my diet because leafy greens contain um, phytochemicals in there that are somehow very very helpful for detoxification as well as magnesium which Lyme disease zaps from your body it just takes it away and uses it for its own selfish needs so those are the remedies I'm using right now for myself to help combat this Lyme disease I also want to mention that I don't know what I'm doing either and one of the reasons I'm filming this is to get my voice out there but I'm also filming this so I could get feedback from other people because I don't know exactly what I'm doing either and any kind of helpful feedback would be very very greatly appreciated I hope you enjoyed listening to this first vlog I hope I wasn't too, being too boring but at the same time uh, I'm not too experienced with like using YouTube and I don't have any music so I don't have any background music to like spice it up or make it more interesting and so it's just me talking although sometimes I like to turn on YouTube and just talk, listen to other people talk so yeah I hope you enjoyed it and have a nice day